Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I know I haven't put up a plan with me video yet this week. Um, I haven't even planned it myself. This is this week, it's still completely blank and bare. Um, I will be doing a rewind spread for this, which I'm going to say is going to go up on Saturday or Sunday, hopefully. Um, I'm really sorry that I haven't managed to put one up. It's because my three are on summer holidays and I just find it really difficult to kind of film and edit and plan things when they're kind of running around and being crazy. Um, I am going to quickly show you my new releases because my Etsy shop is finally open. Yay! Still feels a little bit weird when I say my Etsy shop and how my stickers have got my names on because I've been talking about having my own Etsy shop for such a long time and now it's open. It's just really bizarre and really real. So um, I'm going to show you what I have got coming up into my shop or what's available to buy now because it's open right now. So I'm going to leave the link down in the description box for you to go and have a little look. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this out the way. So at the moment I have two kits available in my shop. This is the first kit right here. This one is called the On Wednesdays We Wear Pink, which is obviously inspired by Mean Girls. Um, my kits are all hand drawn by myself and designed and kind of created by me. So I don't use any clip art or anything in my full boxes or half boxes. So if you like hand-drawn stickers, then hopefully you will enjoy all of my kits. So like I said, there are two kits available in my shop at the moment. There are going to be more coming. I'm currently designing my autumn kits, so there definitely is going to be more. At the minute, there is only two, and they are only one like full-size kits. I haven't done the personal kits or the mini kits yet. They will be coming as well. I just thought if I keep waiting on to do things and then opening my shop we would be like another three months before I even open so I thought I would open just with what I have so this kit is like I said the on Wednesdays we wear pink kit so this is your full box sheet here and it's got the quote on Wednesdays we wear pink obviously because it was inspired by Mean Girls and then on this page here you have got your half boxes and your quarter boxes um, and I decided to do lots of deco in this. If you watched my last plan with me, I really struggled because there was hardly any deco. So I thought on this kit, I would just add a lot of pretty deco. So you've got some kind of functional deco mix in. So you've got like a cleaning day, a coffee date, plan next week, pay day, and then your two Etsy order and deliveries, as well as some kind of non-functional deco. Then you have your ombre, heart check boxes. This is your headers, your littles, and then at the bottom you get two weekly habit trackers and then two bill dues. And this is the weekend sheet with obviously your smaller icons, your two ombre weekly boxes, two smaller ombre checklists, and then a selection of page flags, as well as some kind of functional text. So you've got paint your nails, lazy day, tidy up, pluck brows, and wash hair. And then this last sheet is obviously your bottom washi right here. You get two solid washi strips and then three patterned ones. I did design this kind of fairly neutral, fairly blank. So that way you can take a load of your deco if you wanted to and have it lay on there because it's going to show off your deco really nicely. Or you can obviously make notes or use the washi for whatever you personally use it for and my kits at the moment are going to be eight pounds for the kit and then my second kit is right here and this one is called the me time kit so it's very calming very kind of neutral it's a more blue kit like a nice turquoisey calming blue where the other kit the on Wednesdays we wear pink is obviously completely a pink kit so that's very girly and very pink this one is very calming and very relaxing. So here are your full boxes. I love this girl that I drew with the face mask. Super love her. And then obviously you've got a girl laying on her bed planning because that's always me. And she's got the long brown hair and the glasses, which in case you've never actually seen what I look like, this is kind of what I look like. So they are your full boxes and then you've got your half boxes and your quarter boxes and then here you've got a smaller selection of deco I didn't go quite as heavy handed with the deco as well as some kind of functional text so you've got a bubble bath and an early night and time to drink some coffee here are your heart checklists I decided not to do ombres in this kit I wanted to do something more kind of neutral and calming. So these are kind of a stony beige colour with some nice grey hearts. 
here you've got your headers, your littles, and then two build dues and two habit trackers. And this has got kind of, I think you'll be able to see, I'm hoping the camera's going to pick it up, but it's got kind of a marble effect, stone marble effect on them all, which I thought was really pretty. And I love marble, so I was excited to try that out. And then this one is your weekend, your um, icons, your two weekly ombre boxes, your smaller ombre checklists and your page flags as well as some more kind of paint your nails pluck brows wash hair lazy day and tidy up that's very similar to the other one i think i'll always have these because a girl kind of needs them sometimes and then this one is your washi sheet so you have two solid washies and three patterns again this pattern here is just your gray marble and then these two are a patterned picture and then your bottom washi, I have done lots of full stops and then at the end it just says, and relax, which is definitely something that I need to do after the summer holidays because it's been a little crazy. So this one is the Me Time kit and again, it's a full kit and it will be £8 on my Etsy shop. I've also got some of these paint swatches. These are pastel colours and they're kind of pastel watercolour swatches. I just think that they're a really nice kind of add into your kit so I've done most of the colours will go with pretty much any kit and it's just a nice way to actually I think I used one where's my let me see if I can quickly find the right page where I used them here we are so I used one right there and it just says clean day and I just put it on top of my full box so you kind of see the size of it right there I have given you lots of different sizes so you've got some thinner ones right here and then some larger ones um, but I really like them I think they're a nice decorative little element to have in your spreads just to kind of create your own text or if you don't like your handwriting as some people have been telling me I have designed or given you another option so you can have this a plain one right here or you can have this one which has already got some text written on it for you so they are exactly the same swatches it's just that these ones have got text and these ones haven't the texts are tidy up me time laundry homework and remember and they're kind of spread throughout so you've got different colors for the same text so tidy up there is a pink tidy up purple tidy up green and tidy up blue that way it's going to go into a lot of different spreads easily that's what I was thinking so that's what these are so it, you will have two options you can have the blank ones or the ones with text and these are two pounds per sheet I also have some character stickers in my shop these are called poppets and the reason that they are called poppets because some of you might think that that's a completely bizarre name is because they're very small mini and cute and when I was little my mum and dad used to call me my sister poppets and I kind of call my children poppets sometimes so that's where the names come from this is what they look like and they are in lots of different styles lots of different emotions there's kind of one for every occasion so this is your sheet of happy poppets and on each sheet or most of the sheets I should say there are 20 smaller poppets and then you have three larger poppets at the bottom and to give you a kind of size ratio if you like let me zoom out a little bit so you can oops, see my planner so right here down here these are the bigger size obviously now this is a half box that I've got it on and it's kind of I'd say nearly half of a half box high and then the smaller ones right here I've got on actually one of my paint swatches here's a half box right here and then I've used a poppet right there so you can see the size so the smaller ones are good for half boxes quarter boxes or if you just want to use them on their own and then the larger ones are good for a half box or again if you wanted to use it on its own or if you wanted to kind of decorate anywhere on washi you can use either sizes so I definitely wanted to make sure I gave different sizes for different things that you may need them for so these are the happy poppets I'm going to run through these quickly because I don't want to be here forever then obviously you've got your sad poppets here some are really crying some are just like really sad and then these ones down here are all holding a box of tissues next up we have the coffee or tea poppets these ones there obviously isn't 20 small ones on here there is 4 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 small ones and three big ones and then here you've got 
a but first coffee or coffee first sticker and I did use one of those actually right here so that's the kind of size here this was a thick piece of washi that I lay behind it so it's like the perfect size to use if you're using on top of washi and then these ones have got a little teacup a mug these ones are kind of half lying down you're nearly dead you need caffeine in your life that's what these three are doing and then these ones are just holding a sign that say need coffee and then the three big ones at the bottom say need coffee coffee first and coffee 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 the next sheet are the love poppets these ones i have made as couples like in the middle so you could definitely use these for like a date night or for an anniversary or if you're meeting up with a friend it doesn't have to be like a boyfriend or girlfriend you can use these for anything that you love so you've got three bigger ones down here and then obviously you've got these ones are all singles and then these ones are couples next page we have the nope poppets because sometimes you just you have to say nope um, I love these ones, they are so cute, I had a little hair on, they are so cute, these ones are holding a little sign that just says no, these ones are holding their hand up as if to say no way, they're crossing their arms, these ones are not listening, and then at the bottom here they've got little t-shirts on, one says just no, nope, and not today. So these ones I thought would be really funny if you've got an assignment due or some homework due and you just don't want to do it, you could easily just put a nope there, even though, you know. You have to do homework, but sometimes you just want to say, nope. These ones are, this is actually my personal one that I've been using. It it's, looks completely different, but um, I couldn't find the new one that I printed off. But this is the takeaway sheet. So you've got some with eating some chips or fries, if you are not in England. Then these ones are eating pizza, burger, ice cream. And then these three at the bottom have got little bibs on. One says need food. This one says feed me. And that one says hangry because everyone gets hangry once in a while these ones are your birthday poppets or celebration poppets you don't have to use them for birthdays so these ones have got the party hats on these ones have got some gifts and then these ones have like a cocktail beside them so if you're going out on a girls night out you could use them or if you're celebrating a birthday and going out for drinks you could definitely use those these ones down here are holding balloons and then you have an assortment of cupcakes down at the bottom. And then this one is your doctor or nurse sheet. Although to be honest, you can use these for any kind of medical um, appointments. You could use them for opticians, dentist, midwife, kind of anything really, any hospital or doctor appointment. And they're all the same. It's just that I've given them different colors. So we've got green, blue, red, white, and then at the bottom here I've given you two greens and a white in the big form. That way they'll kind of go in most of your spreads because of the colours. Or if you wanted to assign a colour to a certain thing, whether it's green for doctors, white for dentists, you can easily do that too. This one is the swim time poppets, which I personally love this um, page. I've just fallen in love with them. As I was designing them, I was like, oh, you're too cute. But these ones are really good if you want to mark, obviously, that you're going swimming or that your children have got their swim class or you've got swim class or maybe you're going to the beach. So I've decided to do kind of girls and boys there so you can mark either. But really, you can use them like multi-use. You don't have to use them for girls or boys. But these ones up here have got goggles and swimming trunks. And then these ones down here have got more of the kind of shorts that the boys wear swimming. And then for girls, you've got bikinis here and swimsuits there. And then the big ones here, you've got a rubber ring round his waist there, which is so adorable. You've got a snorkel set on this one. And then this one has got a towel with another towel round his head. I love them. And then I think our last page is the winter page. Now, I kind of got ahead of myself and excited. So I've done my winter's poppets before my autumn poppets. But you could use these for autumn as well, like with all the leaves and falling down and it's turning chilly anyway um, but I designed these top ones up here because they reminded me of my children because when my children were younger and we used to go out in the winter they would have their little mitten scarf and hat on and their hats always used to fall over their eyes and they would like lift their whole head just to talk to me and it used to be so funny so they look really adorable and just remind me of my children uh, these ones here have got kind of fluffy onesies on these ones have got the snuds that are kind of scarf and hats all in one. 
Uh, these ones down here have just got the earmuffs on and the mittens. And then the big ones down here have just done a hat and scarf mittens. And then this one's got a little raincoat on. This line down here are just the poppets and they are in a block of ice or an ice cube. I thought that was quite funny to have them as my winter poppets. So that's why they are in there. And I think that's my last sheet. So I think altogether there are 10 different um, types and these will be two pounds per sheet. Let me just zoom you guys out. So that was pretty much everything that I needed to show you. So at the minute I've only got two kits but I will be having some more because I'm currently designing um, a load of things for autumn and winter which is very exciting. And these poppets I've already started for my Halloween. And if you think any of these poppets look adorable, you should see my Halloween ones. They are, oh, they are amazing. I fall in love with each and every one. As soon as I've drawn one, I'm like, no, this one's my favorite. So like I said, my shop is open already. So I'm gonna leave the link down in the description box. If you do go and visit my shop, make sure you let me know in the comments and let me know what you think. Also, if there are any particular stickers that you're looking for or you would like to see pop up into my shop, then make sure you leave those down in the comments as well because I have only just started my Etsy shop so now's the perfect time for you to tell me what you want to see and then that way I can kind of create and make stickers that you guys actually want. I will be filming my plan with me which will now be a rewind plan with me like I said which will hopefully go up Saturday or Sunday. That's my cat spell if you can hear that. Um, and I'll probably be using one of these kits and that way you can kind of see a kit in action. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be using yet. I kind of want to save this one for the week they go back to school because I'm definitely going to want to have a nice relax. So I may use the On Wednesdays We Wear Pink kit as well as obviously some poppets and maybe some of these too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you do like playing with me videos and you like kind of finding Etsy stickers then make sure you subscribe to my channel because whenever I create a new kit or poppets or anything I will always do a new release video on my channel so you can see them before you kind of go over and see them on my shop. So make sure you subscribe to my channel for playing with me videos and new releases. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like these stickers and I will see you all the weekend. Bye guys!